What is uh, good guys, we are back and we got level 56 versus EO for Smogon Snack Drive. Let's talk about the teams a bit. So this is some nasty stall team here. Uh, I assume it's going to be double defog, fast zap this with HP Ice, uh, Roost, Discharge or T-Bolt and defog. Uh, either Earthquake Venusaur or like Earthquake Mew because he's quite weak to, um, he's quite weak to Heat when otherwise. And this is probably like Volt Switch, Pen Split, Magirna, Defensive Quagsire obviously. But yeah, let me talk a bit about Level's team because this team this team is known, so we know all the sets unless he changed them. Uh, Choska Vladi, which is going to be nice with Trick to cripple uh, a Mon. Band Tower, which is going to be amazing, especially if Level can get up some hazards. Um, so this is Spikes, Ferrothorn, and Rock's Defensive Lando. I don't remember the last move on the Gren, but I know it's Balabond Gren. And this Heatron is Z Cox who crash with Magma Storm Taunt. The Magma Storm co Taunt combo is also going to be nice in this matchup. Um, so he leads up with Band Tower immediately, and EO leads with Mew. So, Level is never going to stay in here because he does not want to let his T-Tech get wisped. I just said T-Tech can put him work if he plays it correct. Um, so, you might want to predict uh, heat turn here and go for off quick or off power if he has that. If you doesn't want to risk um, Level staying in with the T-Tech and just going for crunch, then you can also just go to Quagsire and play it safe. Um, like I assume that level is just gonna switch in the heat and like I said he cannot afford to get let this get burned But if EO has off quick or off power it's gonna be bad potentially for level But it's turn one and like I said EO probably doesn't wanna risk um, Like doesn't wanna risk anything so he just goes in the quack and plays it safe So now I said this is Z Crocs who crash but he might have changed the set to, to Z Bloomdom It's not coming at all at the moment but EO still has to scout for Z Bloomdom here uh, So I assume EO is gonna go to chance he's scouting for that um, if level doesn't have Z Bloom, he might go for it, but he might probably not. Uh, I think this is still these cocks who crash. So I assume level is just gonna go into Ferrothorn here because, um, yeah, just predicting like a Scald or Earthquake, and he wants to try to like um, get up a spike with his Ferrothorn, which is gonna be tough because he uh, has double D Forgers. But yeah, like I said, the Ladi has tricks, so it can potentially cripple something later that can help the level. But yeah, I don't think he is staying in, like I said, you should scout for it. He has a stall team, you can afford to play safe with a team like this. Like, you got like checks for everything, but you should scout out the, the opponent's sets. Like, even if the team is known, you should always like scout out the set when you're playing stall. Uh, no, need to no need to unnecessarily risk anything. So he does just go chance, he's scouting for a Bloom Doom. Um, so now level should go for spikes here, predicting the Venusaur switch. Um, obvious that he went. Uh, he wanted to knock off the Chansey, I understand that, but EO was not uh, letting him knock off the Chansey. Um, so now this might not be HP5 because I know EO sometimes uses like a Venusaur with knockoff, Synthesis, Slush Bomb and Earthquake. Um, like I said, it's, like in my opinion it should be Earthquake, he's quite weak to Tren. Like if this is not ground move then the Mew has to be ground move, one of the two have to be ground move. Um, because Quagsire um, is not the best heat turn answer, like it can get toxic on the switch, it can take a lot from Magma Storm, stuff like that. Um, it's like level might either go for spiky hoping that the Vino doesn't have HP fire or he would um, switch out like knockoff I guess uh, you just wanted to get rid of the lefty from Pharaoh and it also covered a Lari switch so I understand why he knocked off um, so now level still doesn't know if this has HP fire but he also cannot really switch into heat turn because he still doesn't know if it's like the, the moveset from Vino so it might still be earthquake so like I don't think he's gonna go heat turn here um, but he also doesn't want to stay in on a potential HP fire he already lost his lefties and he wants to keep this Pharaoh healthy obviously um, so he might go like, I don't know, like if he goes Ladi and you knocks again, it would also be bad for level. So like this is tough for level. He doesn't have a good switch in the Vino um, until he knows the entire moveset. Hmm. At least the Vino got chipped a bit by Sandstorm and Vino, um, I don't think he's gonna go for Synthesis here because he has to be careful with his Synthesis. He only has 8 Synthesis and he most likely does not have Wish Pass unless he's, unless he's Wish Chansey. So he, I am... Um, he has to be careful with his 8 synthesis, he has to play it well. And I don't think he just wants to waste the synthesis uh, at the moment. But yeah, I'm not sure what level is going to switch to, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to stay in with Pharaoh. He wants to like uh, scout for HP fire here. Like I said, Knockoff just covered... Pharaoh staying in and covered Ladi last time, but he might still have HP fire. So he goes into Landorus. Um, I think he kind of scouted for Earthquake there and also scouted for HP fire. Now there's a free switch into Zapdos for EO. Um, so if I'm level here, I would double into Tyranitar because this this lander, like I said, is defensive. Uh, that you knows that it's defensive because he knocked the lefties and he can see it from the damage. And like I said, this lander is uh, on the team when it was used uh, was off quick, protect HP eyes. 
and rocks. And if he rocks here, and that's the Zapdos, and then the Zapdos just defogs all his heads away. So he should double, yep, in the T-Tap rating the Zapdos. Because he cannot let him uh, defog for free. Um, now I would pursue it here if I was level 56. Um, but you might predict that. So Crunch is overall the safest play. Um, the thing is... He has a gear. Um, I'm surprised that he didn't go to gear breaking the crunch. But yeah, this actually two hit KOs because of the spikes. So now he is most likely gonna go to gear unless. Oh well, he has protect. I did not see that one coming. Um, so now he can uh, avoid the two hit KO. Uh, level 56 can still stay in here and spam crunch, fishing for either a crit or a defense drop because the crack is gonna have to spam recover for a few more turns. So he's gonna fish for it here, and if he doesn't get it, then he can eventually switch into um. And to one of these three mons, uh, either Gren, Pharaoh, or Ladi. So let me explain to you. Uh, Ladi threatens Quack, like why you can switch into those three mons. Uh, Ladi can threaten Quack with a Trick or a Draco. The thing is, you have Protect, so you can scout for that. Um, Greninja can threaten it, obviously, with like Dark Bolt, Hydro Pump. Or like, I think I ha have seen Surf on this Greninja on this team. But yeah, uh, Greninja would kind of force um, you to go Chansey. And Pharaoh Sun would also force you out because it has Power Whip, obviously. Um, so he crunches one more time, let's see if he gets the drop or crit, he does not get it, so I assume he's eventually gonna switch the Ladi Grin or Pharaoh, like I said. The thing is, I don't know if Ladi gets him anywhere, because this crack has protect. So he goes Ladi, um, now he is gonna protect the scout. Um, I mean, even if he changed this to, some, to a command Ladi with like a, with like a Z move, because he knows that he likes Feather teams. Um, I mean, Trick is still nice versus Feather teams, but like, even if he changed it, I think Protect is a fine play here because he has a gear in the back that might have skill swap even and can get rid of command boost from the Lari. Uh, not skill swap, I meant hard swap. Yeah, I assume it's a hard swap gear now install to like deal with some of setup sweepers. Or like help with some like he has underwear quack but it doesn't help with every setup sweeper. It's nice to have some other like way to get rid of status boosts um, if you have if you have a fat team like this. So now EU is gonna switch into what though? Um, if he goes, we knew that it would have been a godly play, but I, I assume that level, like, I actually thought that level would have doubled out there breaking the Venusaur. Um, but yeah, Eel lets the Zapdos get crippled. Um, I mean, it's not the end of the world, because he has a second Defogger and Mew, most likely. Um, I assume we're gonna see a switch into Tita now. Or into Ferrothorn. Like, Eel basically has to lock it's himself into a move now. And this is actually not bad for level, because now his Ladi has lefties, and uh, gives his Ladi some longevity. And he can still potentially cripple the Chansey, because now his Ladi has lefties, which means he can trick Chansey's Violet and get lefties. But uh, also he has to be a bit careful how he plays that, because if he tricks again later, and Eel goes into Zapdos, then the Zapdos is, gets his lefties back. But yeah, overall this is fine for level. I assume he's gonna go Tower Feral, he goes Feral Thorn. Eel just locks himself in a Defog. Um, so now level can just spike again because the Zapdos is locked in the defog. Um, the Zapdos does not threaten this Ferrothorn at all. He has to be careful also that, also that it doesn't knock off because then the Zapdos is not locked into moves anymore. So he goes in the Mew here because he probably just wants to defog. Um, level can predict him to defog here and knock off the Mew's leftovers. Uh, or if he doesn't want to risk the Mew going for Wispy, he can just go to Heatran. But like I said, the Mew might have like off quick or off pause, so it, it, going Heatran is still a bit risky. So he knocks off, he gets a crit. Um, Mew is probably gonna like softball here, so um, level can spike again on each seed, predicting that. Um, because Yu wants to keep his Mew healthy, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah, I actually think that um, if he switches into this Mew, he's probably gonna switch into Greninja, not into Heatran, because he doesn't know yet if the Mew have to. If, he doesn't know if the Mew has a ground move just yet. So, he still has to be uh, careful around that. Um, yeah, level definitely has the tools to win this, but it's not gonna be the easiest game. So he spikes again, um, Eo is just gonna defog again here. But yeah, if level doesn't wanna risk getting burned here, he should just switch into Greninja. I mean, Greninja would also get burned, but then he can threaten the Mew out, and then he can make some aggressive doubles. Like, let's say he goes Greninja now on the Mew, yes, he does just do that. Now he can double into Tita, breaking the Chansey. Because the Chansey is definitely coming out here, 100%. Uh, I guess he could go into Gear as well, breaking the Dark Pulse. Uh, gear would be like a mid-ground play, but if the gear is not spadef and like if the grin goes like for specs pump, the gear would get blown away. Um, even though I think the, the this grin ran surf, at least um, someone else who used this the sec exact same team in this tournament had surf on Greninja. So I assume we're gonna see the Chansey come out and a double switch in the Tita from levels part. Uh, it does double in the Tita. Um, Eo could not afford to stay in because one of his defogs was al also already crippled. So they usually don't carry. Um, you might softball here. Um, they don't carry superpower usually anymore. They carry like 
Bantard, I carry Crunch, Pursuit, Stone Edge, and then either Earthquake or Fire Punch, usually. Um, so I can see him softballing, scouting what he locks itself into. Um, I assume this chance he's like softball, um, toxic, and what, what other moves are softball, toxic, seismic toss, and I, I don't know, maybe heal bill. Now probably rocks. I think probably rocks Gen Z. So now um, he, level made some progress in the sense that he uh, weakened the chance. He, he was now going to switch into either gear or quag here, as he doubles into Feral Zone. He goes into gear. Um, so level can just spike here. So like now his Tita got toxic, but he got the chance he low. So now he has to play well. That like he has to be careful that he do, do, does not let the chance he heal because then if he lets the chance he heal all his work letting Tita get toxic for nothing would be annoying. So he's just gonna spike here as this is Volt Switch. I assume Volt Switch, Pain Split, Heart Swap and Flurkan. Um, so he's gonna go into Venusaur here or into Mew. Uh, I think Venusaur. Um, the thing is now that, that Tita is actually toxic from level which means if Tita comes in, if Tita versus Mew ever happens, the scenario Tita versus Mew uh, and level gets the crunch versus pursuit 50-50 correct. Level can potentially get rid of the Mew then, that would be fire for him. Uh, because getting rid of the defogger means um, he only has a Zapdos left as a defogger and his Zapdos is already crippled. So I can definitely see level putting in work just like that if he if he pursuits or crunches the Mew, if he gets that 50-50 correct, if Tita versus Mew the scenario comes up. Because the Tita is toxic now. So like at first you might think that is bad for him, the Tita being toxic, but now he cannot get burned anymore. But yeah, I would just go Vino here. He goes in the Mew, okay. I mean, that's fine. He already got knocked off, so like, might as well go Mew, I guess. Um, so now he can actually go to Tita here, and if you defox, and then like if he goes Tita here and you defox, then we have the scenario that I talked about earlier, as he does just defox. So now we have a 50-50. Um, so you is fearing the pursuit here, so you might stay and predict the pursuit. Um, so if level gets the 50-50 correct, uh, the Mew is gone and. If Mew is gone, that's really big, actually. That is gonna be big, for sure. Like, these type of stall teams, if you like get rid of one one part of the defensive core, you can make progress quite easily, and then it's gonna be easier to break through the team. I mean, I don't think level loses anything from crunching, to be fair, because... Yeah, so he does predict him to pursue. Let's see if he pursues or crunches. He does crunch. He gets rid of the Mew. So this is really nice one. So I told you guys, it's, uh, it was off Mew. Um, it had to be either Earthquake, Venus, or like Earthquake slash off on Mew. Because like, his Heatron matchup was awful otherwise. Like, it was like not awful, but like, it was not that good. Um, yeah, so he got rid of the Mew at, at the cost of letting Tita get low. Because if you if you pursued it there and the Mew um, stayed in as the Mew stayed in, like, if he pursued it there, he would have been in a really bad position. So I understand why he crunched. Um, if you went to gear there, it would have been really nice for EO, but... Crunching over was safer for level 56. Um, I assume you, like, if you cr uh, if you switched out here, and level um, crunched, obviously, right? Um, I think you uh, level would have tried to have the same scenario happen again later in the game. So it would have spiked again and doubled into town and gone into town and Mew. And then... Um, yeah, I think he would have just kept crunching because um, he wouldn't, he just wanted to play but with like he wanted he wanted to play with Eo's mind. I think that's how he would have played it. Like he would have had the same scenario come up again, Mew versus Tara, and he would have just kept making the same play because Eo would have probably thought about that he might uh, switch up his style and eventually pursuit. But I think he would have just uh, that's uh, nah, I I should not say that's how he would have played. That's how I would have played it. Let's uh, let's put it that way. Uh, it might not be the best way, but I would have probably played it like that. So yeah, he, he th assumes at this point that the, that the Venusaur does not have off quick because uh, the Mew had off power. Um, so yeah, the Heatron can just go for Magma Storm and the Heatron is a big threat. And you cannot even knock this off because it's Z-move. Like, knockoff is not going to do much damage. So he misses, that sucks. Uh, he knocks off, it obviously doesn't do much. But if he hit that Magma Storm, the, the Venusaur would have been super... Uh, like, it would have been weakened. That sucks a lot. Uh, if he gets rid... Dude. If Venusaur also dies, like... EU's team is just breaking down slowly but surely. Zapdos is crippled, Mew is dead. Um, so he's just gonna map me again, no reason not to. Um, I think, he, did he knock off predicting EU to go into Ladi scouting for Earthquake? Or did he just knock off because he doesn't have Earthquake? Like, I'm still not 100% sure if he, if he has Earthquake or not. Um, knock off Slash Bomb Synthesis, that's pretty sure that he has those three moves. 
And then it's Isaac Kikadu and Earthquake will uh, leech seed in the last slot. Hmm. Not 100% sure about that. But yeah, level is just gonna magma again at this point. Like, what is EO gonna switch to? Like. I think Quaxa takes like 40% from Magma Storm. Like, maybe not, but that, that's your head cock. Huh. So, like, Quack cannot switch him well. Uh, Protect also doesn't help Quack because uh, he, because of secondary effect from Magma Storm. So, does he have Earthquake? Let's see. Okay, he just has knockoff. Okay, it makes sense because he didn't go for Earthquake to turn before. But, like I said, I wasn't sure. So, now he taunts, um, which is perfect in this matchup. Um, now, this Venusaur is pretty much dead, so it's looking really good for level. Uh, he just off pause, he doesn't want to risk missing. And yeah, the secondary effect puts it in range from another off power, the secondary effect from Magma Storm. So amazing. He gets rid of the Venusaur. Uh, he could have been a bit more healthy if he didn't miss a Magma. Like, to be fair, like, you couldn't have really switched anything in. Like, you just has to had to hope for, like, dodges, I guess, huh? Like, he is just super good versus, like, fat teams like this, like, since Arena Trap got banned. But yeah, now level is gonna go, um... Into Pharaoh Aladi again, I assume. Ishitun is still nice for the gear. And also, if the ch if it's also nice for the Chansey because the Chansey is at 38, so Ishitun can like taunt the Chansey. It was at 38, right? So he gets a burn on the Pharaoh Thorn, unfortunate. Uh, is he gonna leech it here? Yeah, he just leeched it. It makes sense. He wants to keep this healthy. Um, he can get up a spike here. I think Eo is just gonna vault out again. Because Eo wants to try to get his Chansey in, right? On the on the correct one. Like if he vaults I mean level is not gonna go into Level is not gonna go into Greninja here. But like the perfect scenario for Eo would be getting Chansey in on Greninja um to softballed. But even then, there's still the Tita is still alive and could come out on a softballed. So um I wasn't narrating there. Um, he was obviously not gonna trick again there, um, because he doesn't want to like. Yeah, he was just gonna sideshow there. Like I don't know why I have like some such trouble explaining this. Um, you can go for Volt Switch here. Let's see if Level breaks that and goes into into his uh, Landris to block the Volt Switch. Um, because this laddie is like uh, it's pretty obvious. It's Psyshock, Trick, Draco, and Defog, so it cannot it cannot touch the gear at all. Um, so he's not gonna stay in here. A yeah, laddie is actually amazing, like in this game now. Like it can Draco the Quack for a lot of damage. Uh, Psyshock should kill the Chansey, I think, from the range of that. No, it may might be a roll. It might be a roll. Oh, oof. so he tried to predict the Landris there, but level the God goes in the Heatran on the floor can. I mean, Heatran was a safe play. Voltsu wouldn't have done that much. So yeah, now we can just Magma Storm, and as long as he connects, he is gonna be in trouble. Okay, that was only the 29, I thought it would do more. Okay, never mind then. Is th does this have some sort of spadef, this Quack, or is it... I mean, it's a timid Heatran, I guess. Um, which is pretty obvious, you want the speed on Heatran. Maybe I'm just overestimating Heatran, I thought it would do 40. <laughs> but yeah, now, if he, if he taunts you on a Recover, um, level is a goat, is a god. If he, if he really gets the play correctly and taunts on a Recover... Um, but since this Quack doesn't have Earthquake, I don't think Heatran even dies from Skull. Like, Heatran doesn't die from Skull. So, like, if, if Level gets his play correct here, he can, like, um, be put in an even better position. But I don't think he has to risk it. Uh, I assume he's just gonna switch into uh, Lari or Pharaoh. Ooh, he pulled out the Z, the Cox who crash now. That did 47. Oh, I understand why he did that. Because he predicted Eo to predict the taunt and, uh, and go for Scald. Ooh, level the god. I mean, protecting doesn't help you because the Magma Storm secondary effect does more than leftovers can heal. So now off power kills. Oh my lord. Like, I didn't even think about that. That was played so that was played so well. Because he, he knew that he knew that it was, it was protect, recover, Scald, so it was probably toxic. I didn't have Earthquake. And he knows that he lives a Scald. And he knows also and he also knows that Eo knows that taunt is really obvious, so like fire play by level. That was the play of the game, good god. I mean, that was like some other fire plays, but that was... Oof. Actually, no, there were not that many fire plays. That was like the fire play, yeah. That was like the fire play of the game, I think. So now he just goes in the Lottie on HPI. Zapdos is locked in. Uh, he can just spam Psyshock or he can double out into like... He can double into Heatran here again, putting the gear. 
Um, you can also double into Ferrothorn here to get up a spike. Um, or you can also just spam Psyshock. I don't think he loses anything from spamming Psyshock. But that lets in the gear for free. So, like, yeah, doubling is smarter. So he goes in the land of breaking the gear. As Eo goes for H... Oh, it's not HPIs. Oh, oh, I just said HPIs. When he, when he went for it on the Ladi, I just said HPIs. I did not pay attention. I think it's Hidden Power Flying to, to help him deal with Heracross. Um, I didn't even pay attention when he used it on the Ladi there. It wasn't super effective, my bad, guys. Um, yeah, I think it's Hidden Power Flying. Wow. I mean, Zapdos doesn't get any good flying that moves. It gets, like, Air Cutter, I think, if I recall correctly. Yeah, they, they just posted it in the S2's chat. So now he gets up rocks. Zapdos is locked in the Hidden Power Flying. Yeah, this is amazing for level. Uh, amazing for level. Um, if he had U-turn, you should click it here, but he probably doesn't He doesn't have it because he's like Protect Earthquake HPIs. So he goes in the heat turn, sacks it off. I think he breaked it. I don't know. He just wanted to sack it to get a free switch, I think. Uh, and since the chance is weakened, uh, Greninja has like no counterplay. He just he can just click the water move here. If he has Surf, he also doesn't have to risk missing, which I think he has, right? Uh, the gear might be able to take two barely, but like... This is looking like over now. Okay, I should pay attention though, like... Like, I, I try to pay attention a lot, but like sometimes I like mess up. Like, I didn't see it was not HPIs at first. <laughs> but yeah, he's still gonna click Surf or Hydro Pump here. Um, I assume he was gonna switch into gear? Like, chances at 36, so it's at 24 after rocks. Uh, gear's at 81, okay. So gear's at 75 after rocks. Yeah, I don't know. Gear might get... There might be a roll to 2 KO the gear. Uh, if it's pump, I'm pretty sure it 2 KOs the gear. Or it has a good chance to 2 KO. Uh, if it's serve, it probably doesn't 2 KO. But yeah, what can you even do at this point? Because if he sacks the chance, the ninja gets battle bond and he would be fucked up. Uh, chance easily gets 2 KO'd after rocks. So he goes in the gear and now he just has to hope that he can take two hits. Uh, so Surf is probably a roll to kill. Well, it's 41, good god. Like, it's not a V Magina, so it makes sense that it does more. Um, I think you just go for a hit here. If you're, if you're level, I think you just go for it, right? Let me see. Uh, the thing is, if you live here, you can go for Pain Split or... Huh? Would you go for Pain Split or would you go for Flurken here? Let me think. I think La I think going Lando here is a safe play because going Lando lets uh, lets him not recover health because the Lando is low. So if he pain splits, he doesn't get health. And if you like floor camps, you like your Lando dies. But like, mm. no, no, no. I think you just go for the roll. No, no, because if you switch out, then nah. you don't really have anything to like awkward. Is like he lost his turn and, and like. Mm. I think you just go for the roll. To be honest, it might not even be a roll. Uh, yeah, okay, it was a roll. <laughs> it does 41, now it did 41, now it did 35. Uh, so he went for Pain's Blood, yeah, that was definitely the option that I was talking about. Um, so now level's gonna go to Ferrothorn here, and I think Eel's gonna, like, Volt Switch. Um, he might not want to Volt Switch because he's fearing the Landro, but... Huh. Uh, Ferrothorn's just the safest play for level. Uh, another Surf obviously doesn't kill. That was like a big world difference, 35, 41, I guess that was like min-max type of thing. <laughs> oh, he sur- okay, he just serves again. Okay, so he's willing to sack his Greninja to weaken this gear. I mean, that's fine as well. Uh, so now the gear is at 7% after rocks. He's gonna go Zapdos, I assume, yeah. Um, so now he just goes Ladi. I think Ladi is fine here, right? You just go Ladi and you click Psyshock. Because the gear is at 7 after rock, so the gear gets bopped by Psyshock. Chansey gets bopped by Psyshock. Yeah, I think Ladi just wins. Yeah, go to Ladi and end the game, my man. Um, so yeah, that was like... I don't know, I thought he should have gone to Ferrothorn, but surfing again, was, surfing again was completely fine. I didn't even realize that Ladi just cleans up now. Um, yeah. I mean, Zapdos has pressure, and if he roosts, he can potentially stall him out of Psyshocks, but, like, then if he roosts, he's locked into roost, which means, um, that gives, like, a level of free switch into something like T-Tar, and that just gets a kill then, um, yeah, so, like, the game is over. Yeah, I don't know why I thought he should switch into Feral Land, or just surfing him was fine, I guess, mm -hmm. So, 
so I don't know why it's taking so long. I guess he's like thinking through this completely. But going Lari and Sideshock uh, should be the, the play, right? But yeah, I think AI level has this game. I mean, EO's team was at least like some sort of interesting stall team and not like, not the standard Sable stall. He goes Tar. I mean, that works as well. Um, I actually, the thing why I didn't say you should go, I didn't say you should go Tar because I forgot how healthy it was. I thought the Tar was in range from the Zapdos. That's why I thought, that's why I thought he should just go into his Ladi. Um, but yeah, the Tar is not in range from Zapdos. I thought it was a bit lower. So Tar is a fine play as well. Uh, he's just gonna crunch here. So it's should end by flying Roost Defog, right? I don't know if you, that's the move that he should have. So the last move should be like di Discharge and I don't think that kills because Tita gets a defense, a Spadef boost from the Sandstorm. It's kind of like a free Assault West which is nice and broken. Uh, Tita is like a Fire Mon. Benta is so good like after the Dagi ban. Um, Benta is like one of the reasons why I don't like choice choice specs Lele because if you just, if you ever click Psychic you get pursued by Benta. That's why I like Twisted Spoon or like um, Z move Tapu Lele. Okay, so he roosts, but now he's locked into roost. Uh, level can just spam Crunch. Um, so this works out fine for him. Because Crunch and Sandstorm does more than Zapdos can heal. So like it gets like Tita is eventually gonna die, but like okay, he sex the gear. Um Oh he goes in the lie now. I, I don't think it made a difference what level did, but yeah, Psyshock should be able to kill from 13%. If this doesn't if Psyshock doesn't kill from 13. Um, I would be really surprised. Like, Ladi's really bad if this doesn't kill. Uh, I think what level, I think what Eo tried to do there was, um, sack the Megina, uh, so he gets more toxic damage on a Tita, so that it gets in range from Zapdos, maybe? But it didn't make a difference at that point. Like, I don't even have to analyze this endgame, this game been over for, like, a fat minute. Like, I don't think it made a difference what he did. I think he could've just gone Ladi early as well, but I guess going Tar first was, like, smart, like, because... Because if you go Ladi, um, Zapdos might be able to stall you out of Psyshock PP. But yeah, now you just click Psyshock twice and the game ends. Scarf defog. Okay, now Chansey... Uh, let's see, Chansey might live now because um, because he just defogged. Yeah, I think Chansey can live now because he defogged. At uh, 24 I would have killed, but at 36 I don't think it does. But now he just knocks off uh, lead sheets, the game ends. And Seismic Toss is the only way that Chansey can do damage to Feral it means it also has to take Iron Bubs. So even if the lead sheet misses... Um, he still has Banta, Lando, like, he couldn't win this, so now he's gonna knock, and the game is over. But yeah, I guess my narration wasn't the best at the end, but overall it was pretty fine, I think. Thank you guys for watching, hope you all enjoyed. Smash that like button if you want to see more snake coverage, and goodbye, friends.